You do not need a plan B to succeed. That is the bold statement that we're going to tackle today in the Mindset Mastery Channel. Hi there, I'm Farnoosh Brock, and this is the Mindset Mastery Channel where we talk about setting empowering mindset so that you are set up for maximum success. As a business coach, I work with leaders, entrepreneurs, business owners, and they're constantly taking on bigger challenges, bigger goals. As they go through that process, I notice that they are thinking plan A and then plan B. If plan A doesn't work, we fall back on plan B. Sometimes it makes sense to have a backup plan. However, when you take this concept, this mindset, and apply it to your big goals and dreams and aspirations, something that you've always wanted, which is, in essence, your plan A, and then you start thinking about a backup plan, should plan A fail, you are actually doing plan A a huge disservice. You're taking away from maximum possibility of success for your plan A by thinking, by putting energy and thought into a backup plan, into a switching mode if plan A fails kind of mindset. And that's where I want to draw your attention. In fact, if you really, really want plan A, if that's your true desire, if that's something you've always wanted, let's say it's going to business school or starting a business or getting married or having kids, whatever it is that's your true desire, if that's what you really, really want, then you don't need to even think about a plan B. If things should come to that point in time, you will think about what to do next. But ahead of time, as you're thinking about taking this big step in your life, plan A is your plan period. Focus on that. Put all your attention on that. Think about how that needs to work. That must work. And you will do everything to make that work. When you are removing the plan B from the picture, what happens is your entire energy and focus and attention and creativity goes into the plan that you have, the singular plan that you have. When I left my job a few years ago, I knew that making my business work is the only option. That if one thing doesn't work in this business, I'll try another thing and another thing. But still, the plan is to be a business owner, is to be self-employed. And so going back out there and getting a job wasn't an option I was willing to consider. And that mindset helped me understand what needs to happen to make this work. And this is something I really wanted. So to maximize your success for the things that you really, really want, don't put a plan B in the picture so that your mind can only see plan A or the plan. In fact, call it the plan and see whether that doesn't raise the bar on your success and on the outcomes you create for yourself. Thank you for listening and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.